You are now listening to the sounds of Dr. B's Spot, a production of Bowdoin Enterprise Services, LLC. Join the podcast where love and life topics are discussed surrounding spiritual connection, relationships, finance, and becoming a better you through elevation. And now, here's your host, spiritual advisor and behavioral health clinician, Dr. B. Welcome back to another session of Dr. B's Spot, Love and Life, the podcast where we talk about all things love, life, and spirituality. I'm your host, your spiritualist, your therapist, Dr. B. We are back in business and back in action. Thank you for tuning in once again and listening to my content. It's always much appreciated. Topic of the day is called Pull Back the Veil and Reveal the Mask. This session looks into perceptions of people who push too far and reveal unwarranted forces from hidden surfaces. As an example, let's discuss two-faced energies. That's where you may have a person who presents by approach as someone who's caring, loving, charming, someone who understands your needs, wants, desires, your dreams, and your ambitions. In the beginning stages, they may connect with your ideologies. This begins to make you comfortable enough to let your guard down. Because it feels like you have sparked commonality and connection with this person. You may even have similar upbringing or experience some of the same losses or pain patterns. So you progress over time and each party becomes comfortable in the skin they're in. But guess what? Revelation begins to take its course. All the sweetness becomes bitter. The understanding and communication skills are thrown out the window. The sympathetic and empathetic now flips to being misunderstandings and communication becomes nonverbal. Each person are now left to their own devices to try and figure out the other. What are they thinking? What and why are they reacting this way and using this behavior? It begins to throw each side for a loop. Both parties are now confused and misaligned. And at this point, it's apparent the veil is pulled back and the mask is now revealed. Both parties have been exposed to the other. You most likely have heard the saying, what you see is what you get. But it's not accurate at all because what you see is not what you're getting. You're now seeing an extension of this person's personality that was placed behind the veil and hidden behind the mask. These layers have now unraveled before your eyes. See, you thought you knew what you were signing up for, but it was actually a double-edged sword. It appeared all good until it became all bad. Now, let me explain. This is a metaphor, right? Of a double-edged sword and the relationships that we create or enter into. You have to be careful and selective with this type of sword that you begin to fling with and directing it at your opponent. Because as you're swinging and charging at them, it can come back and cut you. It's nothing to play with. Oh my goodness, hold on, hold on. Do you actually get what I'm saying? Did did the light bulbs actually go off for you? Yeah, it did for me too. Now, let's back up a bit and reiterate what I was saying. So if a double-edged sword is good and bad, when you're charging at an opponent, you have to be careful that you don't cut yourself. So in relationships or any situationship, you may have parties throwing shots from one side to the other, whether it's physical, mental, or even spiritual, there's a cause and effect that catapults the actions. The swords that are thrown and meant for the other could actually backfire and harm self. That's deep, right? So when you're inflicting pain on another, it actually could come back on you like a boomerang. So what's meant for another actually returns to you. Oh, okay. Now, remember in the movie, The Color Purple, Miss Seeley raises her hand and points to Mr. saying, Everything done to me already done to you. If Mr. stops in his tracks before throwing a blow her way, 
He stops because he just thought about all the repercussions returning to him. See, that's that double-edged sword. When folks are in their devil energy, they are selfish, cruel, irrational in their thoughts and actions. There is no remorse on the afflictions they have caused. Their only agenda is payback, but there's always a price to pay. The trick of the enemy, which sometimes is the inner self, that's the devil energy I'm mentioning, doesn't realize that it has overstepped boundaries and the double-edged sword has now pierced thyself. We have to continue to review our cycles that we are part of because many are walking around with veils in our lives and masks to protect the inner conflict from within. You also have to understand the approach and sensitivity of the opponent. Be careful when you attempt and poke in the bear because you may wake the devil energy rather than the angelic perceptive understanding you were initially receiving. If you don't like the mask that has been revealed, remove yourself from the negative energies and reposition yourself to more positive forces because it's actually illegal to have a double-edged sword. After all, it's known as a weapon. So reposition and realign yourself. I hope this message has been uplifting and enlightening to some of you out there. Thank you for listening to Dr. B's Spot, Love and Life. I hope you enjoyed this session. Until next time, be blessed with less stress. Much love, Dr. B. Join us next time at Dr. B's Spot, where we dive into the real deal of love and life by tapping into your body, mind, and spirit. Don't forget to like, rate, and comment on each podcast that we drop. For all upcoming shows, reach Dr. B and all she has to offer on BowdenEnterprise.com and social media outlets under the moniker Bowden Enterprise Services. Peace and blessings to you and yours. We are out. <laughs>